Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome to my video. Today I saw uh, this question on Quora, and I saw this question, can we automate copying of a table from Microsoft Word to Microsoft Excel? The answer is yes, but you have to use VBA, and I want to uh, show you guys a script, a VBA script, and to demonstrate how to do that. Okay, let me go back to my Microsoft Word document. And over here I have a simple table. I have five columns. Uh, the VBA script is going to be dynamic, so it won't matter how many rows or columns your table has. But let's go ahead and uh, let's open the VBA window. Let's click on Visual Basic. Hide this. And I want to insert a new module. <coughs> I'm going to call this routine copy our table to Excel. Before we do anything, we need to check the Excel library reference. So you can do that by going to Tools, References. And since we're in Microsoft Word, and you want to make sure that Microsoft Excel object library is checked. And click on OK. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare my Excel uh, objects. So, For the Excel application, then we need a workbook. Then I'm going to declare my uh, variables for the for Microsoft Word. Okay, doc, uh, doc is document, table is table. Like I said, uh, the script is going to be dynamic, so it's going to, so it won't matter how many rows or columns your table has. And the table range variable, so range, and that should be good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare my uh, document variable. So we'll delete this document. So I have a, a habit that every time when I create an object variable, I always set, I was empty the variable at the end, and just for really good practice. And I want to create my Excel instance. And this will be my Workbook. I'm going to create a brand new workbook. Brand new workbook. And this will be create Excel application instance. Yeah, and forgot one more thing. So I want to make the Excel instance visible. Next, you want to do is want to assign the table to our TBL, which is the table variable. And since I only have one table, so this going, so I know this table uh, table one. And this my Oops, it should be it should be good, good on the top. Assign the last row variable, those counts, this column counts. They want to set a table range. So table range will be always from cells one to one the range. They want to set the the end range. So ends cell last row last column. 
Home. Okay, so now I need to do this. So now if I run this, this is going to slow my entire table in in what? Run this. Oops. And so the entire table is highlighted. Uh, let me close the Excel instance. Let me go back and finish the script. Now, um, now all I need to do is just replace the select with copy. And I want to paste over to a brand new workbook under worksheet number one. And paste. And that's all we need. So let me double check to see if I'm missing anything. Yeah. So set table range to empty. And that should be it. Now let me close this. And if I go to view and let's run the macro, see what happens. And here's the and here's the table from my Word document. So uh, order ID from 001 to 005, 001 to 005. So let me so let me add a couple more records. Uh, and let me grab a couple more records. So I skip six. Anyway, that should be fine. Let me run the macro again. And from one to 14. And that's it. I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and bye bye.